There we go. I think I'll put myself right there. That tends to be an okay place, right? Also, uh, give me give me a quick second. I have to modify the audio settings just so it doesn't come through the wrong speakers. <clears throat> And then last but not least. So we have the um, the mirror temple, but I also, did I download it? I think maybe one mod failed to load. That might be it. Oh shoot, oh, I didn't want to update Everest. Restarting, okay, well, that's okay. How you doing, chat? How's uh, how's life? Life treating you okay? I'm watching uh, a terminal go through a little install. I can hear Celeste. It's, it's playing the like mountain whistle noise hear that or that's just my imagination but missing dependencies oh that's why so i have a new mod map that we can play um though it looks like it's gonna take some effort to get it going so why don't I get that installed off stream and uh, instead we'll just do more mirror temple also I just got a nasty ass headache right here <laughs> I don't know if it's from the workout or or what maybe I, I just need to drink more probably replenish these fluids of mine so apologies for the sweat if I don't really know if the camera quality is good enough where you can see that I probably have a, a nice little sheen going on but uh, if there is one and it grosses you out then sorry but I'm not gonna take a shower <laughs> like between uh, ring fit and this. <sighs> yeah, I think it's, I think the hardest thing about that workout was probably it was probably the leg set minigame, mainly because of uh, the mountain climbers, like right after the other thing, whatever it was, <laughs> already forgotten. New 90% world records is a set, like right now, or today, that's cool. Ouch. I am. I'm still I'm catching my breath a little bit from Ring Fit. What's, uh, what's the record? Is it, uh, is it sub 26 or sub 25? Like two minutes ago. Oh, wow. Who's the, uh, who's the lucky champion? Is it you? Oh, <laughs> Z-Cat. Well, good for, good for them. He had a summit flag one death. Had? 
is uh was that his old record and then he did like the new record without a death or is the new world record with one summit flag death yes good for him though i haven't done summit in forever <laughs> In its world record one. Cool. He died for one play. Wow. So what you're saying is that he could do it faster if he manages to not die. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Good for him though. Sorry if I'm not like super jubilant about it. The uh the planks the planks and the mountain climber exercises take it out of me and also the fact that i currently have a bit of a headache is also kind of killing me a little bit inside well that's cool um does he i don't know if it's a he or she uh does zcad archive the streams i think that was too late no no it was okay Archive the VODs or streams or YouTube anything? Cause I'd I'd watch that later. There will be on speedrun.com in a bit. Alright, cool. And he has a Twitch. Does he save VODs is the question though. Because not every streamer saves their VODs on their channel. And also, Twitch has this weird feature that you can enable where only subscribers can see your VODs. And I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. Seems like a really weird thing to do. Then again, I kind of also think that like subscriber-only chats is kind of weird. Same with uh, following. Or follow only, follow only chat. Like, why stream if you don't want to talk to people? Ooh, that was that. That felt like a good, good room right there. Also, happy Thursday, censored. By the way, hope you're hope you're having a good day. <clears throat> that was a little close feeling. Also tied close to it. Boing. Man. This headache is bothering me. I mean obviously it's bothering me, but like just the fact that it kinda came out of nowhere. I don't really feel like I pushed myself like super hard today in ring fit either though. That's the that's the part that gets me about it. That's why I'm kind of singling out those exercises. I'm sure that like someone out there one day will like <laughs> will be like, huh, how how did this person uh get the way they are? Let, let's assume that I do really well with my exercising and those things and like get super fit and then people are like wow i wonder how that started and then they go check out the uh the vods to to follow my path and do the same thing and then they're like wait what is, what is he drinking what what is he drinking right now and they're like oh my god is he drinking diet coke while he exercises what is wrong with him <laughs> and i will laugh because even if I were to get like extremely fit or something, I would do it while eating pizza and drinking Diet Coke. 
and giving zero fucks. Just to spite all the fitness gurus of the world. We'll call it the gamer diet. Oh, wait a minute. There's a thing we can do here. I completely forgot about that and I was going after keys. Should we try it or should I just go for keys? I think I remember how to do it. I think. Uh. Why don't we practice it real quick? Uh, not here. It, no. Down here. Right here. Oof. That's not it. There we go. Did it once. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to. Let me back. Okay. Good miss. Actually, can I spawn? Oops, not there. I just thought of a good way to practice it without too much uh, pain. Right there. Oh god, no, I, I don't want to do that. I just I just want to spawn right there. Oh god, what did I do? There. Like this. If I spawn like this, it'll probably be easier to... Do it. If you shift, if you hit shift and click, it will set a spawn point. Really? Like while you're on the map or just at any point? Well, either way, I feel like I have have it down decently. Ish. Or at least I feel like I've practiced enough that uh, I have a decent chance of doing it right. Also, I have a uh, I, ha I have a silly picture of me from 2014. You know how Facebook, um, like, when they don't have any real notifications to send you, they just send you the, uh, like, so-and-so happened on this year, or this many years ago. And if you don't know that, then good for you for not being on Facebook. Um, but, Today, when I did my like basically like weekly login at this point to Facebook to check to see if my parents had messaged me about anything at all, um, one of the notifications was for. Wait, what am I doing? I have the key. One of the notifications was for like on this day, eight years ago. And so I clicked it because I was curious. And uh, it was a picture of me drinking strawberry milk, sitting on a bench in my friend's backyard at his birthday party, I think. And uh, it was after I had helped my brother's then girlfriend, now ex-girlfriend, uh, with her beauty school project? Uh, I think it's beauty school. Empire, hair, hair school? Empire. I think it's a beautician license, I think, but she was mainly doing like, yeah, I guess it's beautician because she did makeup and hair and everything like that. So 
Um, but she graduated from Empire Beauty School, did that and such. But for, so fun fact about that, just like other schools, there are final projects. And the Empire Beauty School's final project, or at least the one that my friend was involved in, was a runway show. And so they needed to have a model. And then they had to do the model's makeup and hair all according to the theme and also like explain things that they did as they did it. That's kind of like part of their exam. So like, like when they wash someone's hair and do all those things, they had to explain about it, which is how I learned that like at an actual, like at a place that's run by someone who actually has like a license and isn't just like your run of the mill, I'm gonna squirt water in your head and cut it at Walmart kind of deal. Um, and they do the actual like head massage thing like that's actually a thing that they get taught how to do like not only to clean your hair but also to uh you know like relax you and make it you know an experience that you want to come back for and pay for and everything like that the whole like head massage and and everything it also you know works the soap and shampoo and things into your hair follicles better and such obviously which is probably why whenever you go to a hairdresser who actually does those things like you always come away feeling better after that like your hair looks better and everything i think but um so as you can probably surmise for my friend's final project beauty school thing uh, i was her model <laughs> because she she would have had my brother do it but um he has pretty bad skin so she couldn't really put makeup on him while my skin is not the greatest by far but um it was, it was better and i was willing to do it for her so her theme was rock star and i was a good fit because i you know had an electric guitar so that was part of my outfit and then i had a shirt of a very specific pop character and then she uh she did my hair all crazy like put a big blue star across one of my eyes and all that like did like almost like 80s hair metal rock star kind of look it was a lot of fun um and i had fun doing it but also like it was like a mid-afternoon thing i think oh god yeah it was like a mid-afternoon thing and uh so i had i had stuff to do after because it was my friend's birthday so i went to his birthday party like still kind of dressed up in makeup <laughs> and whatnot so the picture of me sitting on a bench drinking Drinking strawberry milk is a, is a pretty good one. Oh boy. And I'll, I'll show it to you after uh, I die next. Either, either I die or we do the trick that we just practiced. Those will be the, the two conditions. This is a pretty funny picture. Also, it's from 2014, which is, well, eight, eight years ago, which is a long time. A lot of things have changed. So I'm definitely, uh, my, my build changed, I think. 2014 was uh, the year after I graduated college. So I was still wonderfully malnourished. Shoot. Well, I shouldn't say malnourished. I didn't feel malnourished, but uh, looking back on it, I probably wasn't really in the best of uh, shapes, I guess. Like, not fat by any means or anything like that. Um, but I lived off of canned food basically that entire summer. Oh. Come here. canned food and I eat like a single piece of bread or like a roll from a, from a grocery store for breakfast most of the time and there were multiple days where I just had a uh, like a bag of trail mix for lunch like not the entire bag just like handfuls of it throughout the day and whatnot why did I go after the key again <laughs> are you ready that's a little high feeling but it's fine I guess we'll just it's a victory key that's all it's, it's like a bragging rights key. 
that I got it even though I didn't need it. Actually, is there anything I, I can do with this key? Like, does this key actually make anything easier for me? Anywhere? Probably not, right? Elitonito. Aw, oh, man. I was watching, um... So, like I said earlier during Ring Fit, I was on a a bit of a VTuber kick in the last hour or so. Also, I just realized that I said I'd show you the picture and I haven't yet. Sorry. Let me show you the picture. It's it's pretty great. Are you ready for this? Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that beautiful picture. Strawberry milk. Ridiculous, like, crazed up hair. Eyeliner. I think you can kind of see the blue star makeup has been pushed, like, mostly gone. And then, of course, the rock star. Gotta have my Hannah Montana t-shirt. <laughs> Actually, not a t-shirt. Hannah Montana wife beater. Because we, like, ripped the sleeves off of it. That's... That's 2014 me. Helping my my brother's girlfriend out with her fashion license final project. <laughs> if that picture doesn't make you like kind of giggle a little bit or like, I don't know, shake your head at the kind of nonsense that I get up to sometimes, I, I don't know what will. <sighs> you. That was close. No! Why? Oh. 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 Um. Anyway, sorry. The the picture interrupted, but <sighs> like I said, VTuber kick, and uh, kind of catching up on some click channels. Though I haven't checked. I could have sworn I was subscribed to um, Jean. I think is his name, Jin. Who, would, who mainly did Okayu subs and did like a really, really good job of it. Like put a lot of effort into the translations and actually was like fluent enough to not have like jank translations like a lot of the clip channels have. And like, there's nothing wrong with jank translations, mind you. I, I appreciate any translation I could get, but um, there are times when like fan subbers for VTubers definitely embellish and or don't know what they're actually talking about or understanding and then like on top of it like it's someone who's like Japanese and English is, sec is a second language to them and so then you get really interesting mechanics. It's still understandable so like it's fine but uh, G and I remember specifically was one of the people who would do live translations in Okayu's chat which is always really nice. And I think, honestly, I feel like he might have been the one to start that. If not, like, across the board, but at an OKU's channel, at the very least, he was definitely the first one to, like, do live translations while they streamed. And I think he had her okay to do it, I think. There were a couple people who would do it, but he was the only one I know that seemed to have, like, official approval. But um, I watched Elite Miko, Sakura Miko, react to uh, when she played through Yakuza Kiwami 2. And she's played Yakuza 0. So I mean, maybe maybe this, I'll probably repeat this tomorrow when we play Yakuza. But um, her reacting to Majima's story and like its end with Makoto in the massage parlor. It was like a 10 minute clip because the clipper, you know, went through the effort of kind of hunting down the parts of the streams where she first first goes into the clinic as Majima 
and sees Makoto and everything to um, the ending sequence with the plane and the watch and everything. And it, it was nice to see her reaction to that and her chat's reaction to it. Makes you, um, I don't know, it, it's, it feels good when people appreciate the games that you appreciate, you know? Well, like you can kind of share that feeling and Majima's story and it's like specifically with Makoto and then it's end and everything it's is really bittersweet but really nice and like well done I think I think Miko referred to it as god script like god tier script basically kami writing kind of thing kami game That's not going to end well for me, is it? So, yeah. Um, I also, I don't remember what I need to do for Yakuza. Um, I don't think I promised anything tomorrow. Like, like you know, sometimes I finish up and says like, oh, okay, like next time we'll do all this stuff or maybe i'll do this thing off stream or or that kind of thing um i don't think i promised anything yakuza wise so i haven't touched the game since last friday um i don't have any plans on doing any more of the host club though i don't know i could look up a guide on it and we could see what the end of it is like but I don't know. I feel like that's going to take a while. That, like, maybe I could do that off stream, but also, like, if there's anything funny or amusing about the Hostess Club stuff, like when the girl comes back and, like, finds her place usurped by uh, the girl that you train or something like that, then, like, I'd like to capture that in some fashion. Whether it's on stream or, uh, or not is another question. Like, I could do it off stream and then just record and uh, edit together a quick little video or something on YouTube. We're good. But also at the same time, I don't really want to. I mean, it's kind of fun to like root for your girl and everything, but at the same time, the, like, I liked the, oh God. Oh, oh, I'm alive! How the fuck am I alive? I don't know how much. Okay. I was trying to bounce on his head to kind of delay it. I should have just gone up to the top. Also, uh... Censored, if you're still here, I'm curious because I feel like you wouldn't know. Um, it, did Rafflecopter Gaming finish his Golden Berry runs or is he still working at it? I can go check. And if you're not here, then uh, obviously don't don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but I heard that if anyone, anyone would know, you, you probably would. Because I know he was working on them before but it also has been a while and i feel like he has um longer streams and more dedication to celeste than than i've had not to say that i'm not dedicated i mean i'm i'm here after my workout working hard at uh trying to get this berry and learning new tricks and skips and things to do it even so mm. I'm dedicated in my own way, but I'm dedicated in the turtle way of, you know, slow and steady, not trying to like bang it all out at once, which, you know, maybe if I, maybe if I did a bunch of like Celeste, like if I did an entire week of Celeste, like only Celeste, one, I would hate myself and two, uh, like we'd probably get at least one more berry doing like a crap ton of Celeste like that. Probably. 
At the same time, I, I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to, because I like having some variety in the games that I play during the week. Even if they're the same three games for like the next <laughs> few months, but we'll see. Because I mean, Dot Heck Infection, we're in it for the long haul there. Um, it's it's a long game, and then we have Mutation to follow up on it, and then two other games. So there's like at least 120 hours of uh, game there, plus grind time for for me off stream. So there's there's a lot, and there's Grunty Racing, Grunty Racing trading cooked bile for random weapons and all sorts of other such nonsense. There's plenty to do. That said, um, one of my friends linked me to a game earlier today called uh, Nobody Saves the World. And he said it was on Game Pass. So if I had Game Pass, I could do it. I don't currently have Game Pass. It's not that hard to sign up for it, obviously. Like, it's like five bucks or whatever, right? But um, it's also available through Steam, though for like 22 bucks, I believe. So I threw it onto my wish list. It's like a top-down uh, adventure game type thing that's made by the same people who did Guacamelee, which uh, a number of my friends have enjoyed and has like silly writing. You're kind of in the way, dude. Um. And looks like it would probably make for, for a pretty fun stream. Um, the only thing is, is that I don't know where I could fit it in without sacrificing... Actually, you know what we could do? So, the games that I'm like truly dedicated to right now that I don't want to take out of rotation at all are the dot hack series because i've been wanting to play those for a long time i i know they're not everyone's cup of tea and i know that you know it's not really gonna earn me big favors anywhere um but i want to play through them i want to have i want to have a, a full playthrough of those on my YouTube VOD channel and everything. And I just want to enjoy them again. So it's it's more for me than it is for anyone else, which is most streams. But um, since we have been alternating between Celeste and World of Horror the past week or so, because that update from World of Horror got some new stuff and I've gotten to see some of the new stuff, which has been really nice. I'm going the wrong way. We don't need to go find a key. Um, We could maybe play that. If I pick it up, we could maybe play that on a Tuesday or Thursday. I don't know if it's a multiplayer game or not. It might be. Um, if it is, I might see if that friend who sent it to me wants to play it with me. Because that could make for a pretty fun stream. But again, I don't know if it's actually multiplayer or not either. So I just know that it, he said it has really funny writing. And that it's kind of fun and cute and such. So... Be, it could be a good time. I think this is the last... Up there. Yeah, there we go. Then T.O. time. All right, made it back to Tio. Let's see if we can make it further than two rooms this time. Ooh, nice. Let's throw. Oh boy, that felt a little, felt a little close. OK, 
Okay, now this one. Can I, like, lure him somewhere where I can bonk him on the head? Yes. Watch him, like, come barely out of the, from the left. Alright. This one. Uh... Okay. We're doing good so far. I think. Okay, I see what it wants you to do there. I'm helping, he says. You are... Oh fuck, this one. Oh, oh fuck! Oh no! Oh, damn it. Well, it's pretty good though, right? Uh, I forget, have I actually gotten past that room? Is that the farthest I've gotten before? I know I've definitely done that, or been in that room before. I don't remember if I've passed it or not. But that was a good attempt. At the very, very least. Hmm. So the, um, sorry, I'm still thinking about VTubers right now. Because the thing that, like, I, I just got like a hankering to see Matsuri be Matsuri. And so I just looked for, like, I googled Hololive Matsuri and then started finding clips from there. And there's this really cute, um, the clip channel I found does animated versions of like some of the clips. And they had one with Ina and Matsuri that I thought was really cute. And you know, some of the cuteness definitely comes from them like animating it into like their faces and you know, actually, you know, animated drawn versions of them versus just like their avatars bouncing like stuff, you know? Not that that isn't fun. It is. I feel like half the fun is just like seeing the kind of gank rig of a, of a VTuber mixed with like how ridiculously expressive the person is behind the voice. But it was cute. voice though so like I've been it's not a resolution because I didn't actually think about it until now but I have been using my camera more this year mainly from encouragement from you know Davkind and other people around you know kind of you know showing your face a little bit more all that stuff and I I feel like it has made a bit of a difference as far as like random people stopping by the stream like I do feel like I've seen more more random people kind of pop in with uh, with the cam on. At the same time, for for certain games, not Celeste, but for um, for any game that I like read the text for, I don't really like having the camera on. Like Yakuza, I don't really want I don't really want my face on that. <laughs> not because of Yakuza itself. But like, if I'm gonna make a silly voice or something like that, sometimes I'm gonna make a really silly face to go with it. And it just, it's a little embarrassing to actually have it like there, you know? I have yet to retry there by accident, so I'm feeling good about that. We'll see if I continue to feel good. Also, yeah, no, never mind. Sorry. For some reason, I was like, "Oh, we're we're talking to bad line. That's good. That's a new thing." It's like, no, it's not. I just have been in the zone and haven't been paying attention at all. Wow, that seeker, <laughs> not doing your job, are you? Dude, 
That was a bad angle. Also, uh, today I did, I know this is thrilling, a thrilling topic of conversation, but uh, today I went through a bunch of old medical records because I was trying to find a bill or anything that indicated that I've had a uh, dental exam in the last year, because I have, but my work needs it, like needs an actual document that says I have in order for uh, their stupid wellness programs and stuff. And I know I've had one, but for some reason I don't have the bill, which is really weird because I have bills from like 2020, but not one, not any from 2021, which is weird because I went to the dentist like twice, I think in 2021. Once for, both for cleanings? I think both for cleanings actually. So it's weird not to have that, but um, sorry, I just need to concentrate for a second. But it was kind of fun because looking through old, old medical bills, like dating back to like 2013, uh, reminds me of all sorts of fun medical troubles I had. <laughs> How often do people? refer to medical problems as fun, huh? Um, but like, I don't really have an issue sharing with these things, really. Um, they're nothing like crazy. There's like one thing I, I won't share, but um, I had my, I had my documents from when I had kidney stones. And like the paper, like, it was like cardstock paper that that hospital used for their billing. Like, there's, they're just such like a rich hospital that they can afford to print their shit onto cardstock. And like, with, they had like a big logo on it and everything like that. I was like, jeez. Crazy. But that was, that was an interesting time. Oh, why you do this? I knew it was bad the moment I did it. Just checking the clock on OBS. I don't actually have the dashboard out for uh, Twitch. Right now I only have the pop-out chat on my monitor. Wait. Okay. I couldn't remember if there were two exits to that room or not. but I don't have the pop-out chat today, so in case there's, uh, you know, anyone lurking or anything. Not that I, you know, I don't really say hi to lurkers any normally anyway. Not because I don't love you, but because generally speaking, I feel like if people are lurking, they're, they're lurking because they don't really feel up to chatting and that's just fine. So I try my best not to pay attention to like the view count number and that because there's no there's no reason to change like how you act based on that, I think. Like I think whether or not you have zero viewers at the time or like a hundred viewers or whatever, then you should you should just be you. And talk about your kidney stones <laughs> and how pretty of a color they were. <laughs> they were, honestly. They're like actually they're almost this color, the purple of uh, of this statue, except that they were translucent and sparkly. Now I'm not about to go like take it and make like a ring out of it or something. That would be messed up. But besides the pain that they put you through, at least they're pretty. Like having a girlfriend. I just. I haven't had a girlfriend in like eight years. Although today I learned, uh, speaking of relationships, 
Today I learned that Hololive doesn't actually have any restrictions on, or they have one restriction on relationships for their talent, which is they can't date coworkers, and that's it. <laughs> no, no dating within the company. But it's an interesting thing because uh, for anyone uninitiated, normally in like idol and actor, actress, yada yada, etc., pop culture stuff, even outside of Japan, but anywhere really, K Korea definitely, Japan definitely, to some extent, I think the US had it with some pop stuff. Um, although maybe not so much the US anymore, maybe back in the 90s more so, but like agencies like almost like forbid their talent from like having relationships or having any kind of public relationship and i guess according to matsuri who was talking about it which is why it's you know on the mind and such because i was watching those clips um like they can't even go out with their friends sometimes because they don't want like fans to realize or to like misconstrue their relationship this is for like actual idols, not for hollow live idols. <laughs> hollow live idols are their own very unique beast. But like I guess Yagu and the agency at large kind of has more more lax views on that thing, which is a good thing, honestly. I think it keeps their their talent happy. And someone in the YouTube comments so again, I don't know how true it is, but someone in the YouTube comments was saying that like actual ex idols in Japan, uh are in Hollow Live, I guess. Probably like to some extent because of that. Again, don't know how true that is though. Ooh, don't get me. That was weird. The noise that just made like popped my right ear. We shall see what the week brings. I got, um, I think I mentioned this yesterday because I found out about it yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday. Um, about stress around making a, a roadmap and vision and those things for the, for the next year and a half that my boss wants. And he's given me to the end of the month to do it. And God, that's like my least favorite thing ever. Luckily for me, the company at large has a bunch of people kind of like going over their own roadmaps and things like that. For, uh, for like a different section of the company. So I've been watching and tuning into those meetings and such to kind of get some, oh God damn it, he missed. This is going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to have to lure him over. God damn it. Alright, hold on. Like this. Oh, come on. Don't be a butt. Come here. I feel like this this room normally isn't that hard. Normally. Oh, 
All right, let's see if I can do as well as I did last time. Nope. So, how did I do this last time? I mean, that works. Nope. Uh. Oh God, you're you're in a terrible position. Oh, this one. Okay, let's bait it, maybe? Or kill it, that also works. Oh, well that works. What? No! What? Huh? Huh? What just happened? <laughs> what? I was in the, the door. I guess I didn't press right enough. Damn it. That was a good run. Uh, all right. Well, I think unless I... If I die before two, then... Uh, then maybe I'll try it one more time. But if I get up to two, then this will probably... Probably be the last run of the night, I think. Because um, it has... Looking over at OBS's timer. It's sitting at two hours. And that's kind of how long my social energy lasts for. Mostly, I think. Based on prior research, as it were. Also, if anyone has any like motivation that they want to share with me, I would I would I would like motivation. Because uh, as I mentioned before, the Japanese classes are Starting up, and uh, some of the people I know are trying to put together some study sessions and things, but they all want to do it at like 6.30 or 7.30 at night on like Mondays, which is like when the classes normally are, so like it would interrupt the stream anyway, but I'm trying to just not do that yet and to enjoy my time playing dot hack on Monday nights. I still want to take my classes. Um, I do. And do the next level of Japanese and kind of keep up with it to make sure that I don't lose it. But at the same time, I know I need to do a bunch of studying. And I wanted to do some this past weekend. And was like, oh yeah, you know, I'll just, I'll study on this day, like in the morning or something like that. I'll, you know, set aside some time, do this. And then I never did. And, you know, it's entirely my fault. I don't really have an excuse. But if anyone has motivation they want to share <laughs> to help me kind of go through the first half of my book, make flashcards, write down important things, and do some like hardcore self study or something and review. And then give me that motivation if you got it. You know? Honestly, one of the things that has been like in my head ever since fiddling around with Unity and continue to take these classes is like making an educational game. Because there are some on Steam, some that are definitely like super simple, but you know, decently effective and good. And like, if I were to kind of make anything similar to it, but using the information in the books that I have, then I bet you it would make like a really, it would make for a really good study tool for me. I feel like I'm skirting death here. 
Die. Oh man, that's beautiful. When you get that like perfect, perfect little jump so that you land on, uh, or you go past the edge rather. Feels so good. <laughs> Now we gotta be careful, I think. Ooh, I hit his I hit his mouth. Bunk. Go, 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 run. Okay. I'm gonna have to concentrate in a moment. Not that I haven't been concentrating, but you know what I mean? Trying to time to see if the run's about to die or not. It is not going to die. Sweet. Trick has been done. I wonder if there's I should try to keep a lookout for any other places we could theoretically use that trick. I like that that seeker's predictable. This seeker, on the other hand, I mean, he is predictable too, but. Oh boy. Oh, no, no, no! Oh! Ducked at the perfect moment. Yikes. Hold on, we gotta kill it first, I think. We gotta kill it first. There we go. I wonder if it's possible to softlock yourself. Son of a gun. <laughs> Bounce off his face. Okay, he's he's like partially stuck. This is good for us. Oh god, he's not stuck anymore. <gasps> what just I was pressing right. I don't understand that. That happened last time too, didn't it? What is going on with that room? What am I what am I doing that's like so horribly, horribly wrong? It's this room, right? No. Wait, yeah, yeah, it's this one, right? This one? So I mean I'm throwing him. Doing this. I think I think I ducked right there and that's why I just survived. Huh. Alright. Well good set of attempts though, I think. Like got got decently far despite despite everything. Um But yeah. So that's it for tonight. Um I hope you all enjoy it. the game just crashed or did it just restart on purpose. Um I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Um, hope you enjoyed the watermelon. Hope you also enjoyed this ridiculous picture of me from uh, eight years ago. <laughs> uh, the Hannah Montana wife beater. What a time to be alive. Anywho, I will catch you all another day, another time. 
Um, I'm gonna look into that game that my friend sent me. It's $22. I don't know if I want to do it yet. I'm, I'm, there's a VOD that I can watch of a streamer who's played it and I can take a look at that to determine if I want to play it or not. Um, but we'll, we'll see how things go. Um, but I leave you all today with, uh, with Toaster Chan. Catch y'all later. Bye for now.